All right, guys, here are the rigs again. My goal, just to keep it uh, current, is to try to do a video or two a day on these CPU rigs. Since that's the FOMO right now, get up that those rigs up, get them mining a nice ash and make a buck or two here or there. Again, I do say it is just for fun. I did not put any cash out to buy any new equipment. This is stuff that's been left over for two years. And uh, even last night I mentioned in a video, I took one of my older AMD 5 series CPUs and I made a uh, just a standalone machine just like this so my one kid could play Roblox on it. Blammo, done. Put a Sapphire 6600 on that. I kept a few cards, sold the big 3080 Ti's, GPUs, got rid of those beasts. And, uh, you know, like I say, eBay took 14% of all that money. And then the old government, government, the old government's going to take the rest when they see uh, the money I made, what was left over from the eBay sale. Yeah, you end up with pennies, but that's just the way of the world, right? All right, so there they are. They're all running. It's cool out today. Got some nice cool air flowing through the house. Uh, these heat up the room a little bit, but again, nothing, nothing like a GPU. Nothing like the old GPU farm sucking electricity and burning the house up with heat. <laughs> I can't believe it. it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. It was an experiment. Uh, I do prefer these uh, these boards, the uh, X470s and the uh, 570s gaming plus max boards. I don't know if you can get the X470 anymore. I think this is the uh, replacement again. And this is over a year and a half old. Man, I got these these 470s. Like for 70, 80 bucks, dirt cheap. Now they're when I before um, before uh, I stopped mining it, I tried to get some more, and I they were just expensive, like uh, over a hundred, hundred eighty is ridiculous. Uh, so these are working again. It's not a lot. Again, it's I, this is fine for me, and I am using nice hash. So let's go over here. Blammo! Uh, like I said, there are each machine does have two sticks each. The hash rates look pretty decent uh, up from uh, up from before. Before I added the uh, two sticks, and uh, thanks for that input again. So we're about at least 12 kilohash a second. Uh, that one's a little lower. Who cares? It's better than it was. 14 on the 3950, 3950x, yeah. And then 12 on that. What are we making? What are we making with this little setup? It's been fluctuating around 10 bucks, but now it drops down now and then to, to uh, what is that, eight, uh, 8 bucks? Who cares, right? It's interesting that it's even over a dollar. Uh, <laughs> so it's all for fun. My electricity cost is 11 cents per kilowatt hour. That's with added uh, adjustments, assessments, blah, 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 blah. But it's down from 18 cents when they had, we're running out of natural gas. We cannot do this anymore. We must raise your rates. I think it's just to bust the back of the middle class. Anyway, uh, but now it's back down to 11 cents. Life is expensive, guys. Living is expensive. So what is the total? I don't know where in the hell I'm looking. There we go. Blammo. Look at that's only uh, today's Tuesday. Let's say almost a week. I'm going to say five days profit. Six days because I did have the rigs off because I, I don't feel comfortable leaving with the rigs running, I do not want to come back to a burnt down house. You just never know. I don't want to take, it's not worth the, not worth the risk on my part. So there's where we're at. I'm going to leave that in there because once you move anything around in Bitcoin or any exchange, you're, you're going to pay a fee. So a lot of that 68 bucks is gone. And then, like I said before, if, if it, um, if I do sell it or exchange, I'm not going to ever buy an altcoin, but, uh, Bitcoin's it stick with Bitcoin. Uh, if I ever do cash out and go to fiat, and then boom, you got your capital gains, long term, short term. Yeah, they get you coming, they get you going. Uh, so we got that 68 bookaroos. And let's see, what are we running here? Temps are hot. I don't know. I'm going to keep tweaking with these little bastards. We are mining nice hash, and they have their own algorithm, random X Monero. And again, you can do this on Zerg Pool if you want. You can mine these different coins. Find the most profitable coin. It's very time consuming. I did it a year or so ago. It's very time consuming. How much is your time worth? And I always tell people, don't undervalue yourself. Your time, you can't get time back. If you're helping someone or someone's service, you should get paid for your time. And if you enjoy it, that's fine. But again, remember, it takes a lot of time. So this is running theirs and I get paid in Bitcoin. And same on Zergpool. 
you can pick the freaking coin you want to mine and actually get converted to Bitcoin. You pay a fee, and I'm sure NiceS has their fee as well to, to get you paid out in Bitcoin. But it is there. It is an option, just so you know. Uh, if you want to know how to do this, it's not hard. You just got to set up your rigs, man. If you have one, go play with it. It doesn't have to be super powerful. Just get one rig, go to NiceHash, set up an account, download their NiceHash miner. I'm using Windows. You can use Linux. Uh, again, it's a great way to learn all the three things I say, the three core things of uh, the software world, the system hardware world is um, system admin because you're setting up an operating system, installing an operating system, setting up drivers, all that system admin type functions and responsibilities, whether on Linux, which you'll learn a lot, and Windows, which is torture. Uh, Linux may make you more marketable because people want to know people and hire people, consultants that know Linux. Uh, system engineering, which components go together on the motherboard, the memory, the CPU, the power supply, blah, 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 all that crap. That's kind of a system engineering exercise, piecing together components to make a system. System engineering, blah. Software. Uh, a lot of these have batch scripts. You can uh, get involved with Python scripting, batch scripting to set up your command lines and make your uh, miners run a certain way. And again, there's your software side of things. You know, it's not pure software engineering, but Jesus, everything you do in software engineering, you know my secret sauce when I was doing software for all these years? Copy and paste, stack overflow, other sources of tech. You go and copy and paste, and then you get 80% of the solution, and you just have to customize it to fit your solution. Wow. I mean, that's 200000 bucks a year right there, folks. I'm just telling you, you can schlep away and make no money or just go get a freaking job as a software guy or system guy or, or even a system admin and uh, suck it up for a couple of years, save as much as you humanly can and uh, pocket it. Pocket it, put it in index 500 fund, dollar cost average and let it compound. Then I keep beating a dead horse, but again, that is what has proven to work best for me long term instead of trying to time the market with buying Tesla, NVIDIA, bull crap. Uh, you just go nuts. Uh, just let it sit, forget about it, auto-invest and reinvest. But here we got our 68 schmackaroos before tax, before electricity, before fees. So in reality, that's probably 39 bucks <laughs> in my pocket. But it's Bitcoin. It could go down and it could go up. So is that what Bitcoin Ben used to say? It could go down and it could go up. And he went down, I guess. Oh, well, that's neither here nor there. But here we go. That's the current state of things. You guys, uh, mileage may vary. You're probably getting better than me. I don't know. I've got it pretty much running with minimal effort. Uh, and that's where I'm at. Hope this helps. Yeah. Go forth. Have fun with it. And uh, yeah, you can do a lot of options on this. Good way to, good portal entry point is nice ash. And then branching off if you want to do Zerg pool and all that crap. And get Bitcoin. My only strong advice, get paid in Bitcoin and hold it, you know. It may go up and you may make a few schmackaroos to pay uh, your electricity bill and your maybe mortgage. I don't know. Maybe not that much, but maybe buy a dinner for you and your uh, your friends. Who knows? All right. I'm out. Talk to you later. We'll do a follow up maybe tomorrow and see if we're maybe break 70. We'll see.